In this video, we're going to show that a set is not closed under vector addition. So our set is going to be capital T, and it is the set of all vectors x, y, such that y is equal to the square root of x. So first, what does it mean for t to be closed? So t is closed if for all x, y, and t, we have x plus y in t. That's what it means for t to be closed. So to violate this definition, we have to show the existence of two vectors in t such that the sum is not in t. So we have to come up with one example right, in order to violate this. Because this is what it means for t to be closed. And this has to be true for all x, y. So if it's not true, even for just one pair, we got this. So let's find out, uh, let's just think of two simple vectors that are in T. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is 0, 0, but that feels like it's not going to work. <laughs> um, so let's try something else. What's an easy number we can take the square root of? How about 4? So if x is 4, y is the square root of 4, that's 2. So the vector 4, 2, right, x is 4, y is 2, is in T. Let's see, what's another number that's easy to take the square root of? Um, how about 9, right? If x is 9, right, that's a 4, it's an ugly 4. Uh, y is the square root of 9, which is 3. So the vector 9, 3 is in t. So these, these two vectors are in t, right? x, y, x, y, yeah, 4, 2, 9, 3. So all we have to do is look at the sum and ask ourselves, is that in t? If that's not in t, then we've disproven closure and t is not closed. So let's look at the sum. So 4, 2 plus um, 9, 3. So this is going to be 4 plus 9 is 13. Uh, 2 plus 3 is 5. So the question is, is this in t? Right? Is this in t? Well, let's see. Is it? So x here is 13. And y here is 5. So if this is in t, y is equal to uh, the square root of x. Right? So that would mean that 5 is equal to the square root of 13. That's not true. That's not true. So, so this cannot be uh, in t. Right? So this is not in t. So, uh, because 5 is not equal to the square root of 13. So that's how you show a uh, set is not closed under vector addition. So you come up with two vectors in the set, and then you just show that it can't be in the set. I hope this video uh, has made sense. That's it.